spying tools used by the KGB and CIA in the Cold War. If we don't end the war, war will end us. This isn't just a quote from H.G. Wells, it's reality. The Cold War was so brutal that the only option was to fight to stay alive or get lost in the cold arms of death. It was a desperate time, and it required desperate measures. Between 1947 and 1991, the United States and its allies, and the Soviet Union and its satellite states, were in a fierce fight over the threat of nuclear war, competition over the allegiance of newly independent nations, and the military and economic support of each other's enemies around the world. The Soviet Union's security, Komitet Grzovostany Bezopostany, popular as the KGB, was known for using sophisticated bugs such as spy shoes with transmitters. On the other hand, the CIA relied on technological advancements such as spy satellites and coded communications to gather intelligence and monitor Soviet activities. The Cold War was not just a battle of ideologies but also technology and espionage. Both sides constantly tried to one-up each other developing new and innovative methods of spying and counterespionage, always looking over their shoulder and wondering what their rivals were up to. From invisible ink to high-tech bugging devices, these agencies left no stone unturned in their quest for information. So, let's delve into Cold War espionage and look at some of the fascinating and often surprising tools used by the KGB and the CIA. Glove Pistol during the Cold War, warriors wore gloves as a form of protection for their hands and also to enable them to hold their weapon firmly. But underneath the gloves was something more powerful, a pistol. This personal tool, designed in Philadelphia by a man known as Stanley M. Height, was first used by naval intelligence officers. One feature of this tool was that it couldn't activate on its own and had to be operated by someone. The spy wearing it was expected to throw a punch at the target, and once the punch contacts the target, the pistol underneath the gloves shoots itself. Depending on how tough the war zone could get, the spies were easily faced with tight situations where a punch was almost impossible to throw, and with any mistake, the enemy would sight the gun. In this situation, the spy could raise his hands in the air in the form of surrender so that the enemy wouldn't see the pistol. Then immediately after the enemy was close, the spy would quickly throw the punch, and a shot would be fired. Lipstick Gun No one suspects a fair lady who has nothing but her favorite lipstick in her purse. She looks harmless. So, during the Cold War, KGB exploited this reality and made a weapon in the form of a lipstick. The 4.5mm single-shot weapon was alluring and deadly at the same time. It was so small that it could easily pass through the eyes of the guards without them knowing, no matter how smart they seemed. The KGB first discovered a lipstick gun while crossing a border in West Berlin, and there was nothing ordinary about it. Unlike the normal lipstick that you twist to push out the color, this one was twisted to shoot. This lips painter came in tiny tubes making them hard to detect. They could easily pass for the property of a woman who carelessly left it lying around the desk. It was the perfect tool for the KGB and they opted for it, knowing that it would be an easy win for their women during the Cold War. The only downside was that it had one shot, but you know, one shot can be all you need to disarm your enemy. Semi-Animated 5 Seconds Mask if you were in the CIA, you'd have nothing to worry about because with the semi-animated 5 seconds mask, no one would recognize you. 5 seconds off, you're your normal self and the next 5 seconds on, you're an entirely new person. This animated mask helped the CIA agents to pass and collect information about their adversaries with ease without being identified. The dog. Not all dogs are dogs. Yes, you heard that right and this was very common during the Cold War. You'd see a dog in the back of a car and want to play with it, not knowing it's a human undercover. During the Cold War, the CIA used this crafty tactic as a means of spying. They paid someone to craft a dog skin for them, and whenever they wanted to get information from their opponents, one of their members would wear the dog skin and kneel inside the car, making it look like they were traveling with a dog. The CIA even trained a raven to place bugs on windowsills and transport and collect small objects. The agency transported an eavesdropping device across Europe via a raven, but no audio was captured. Dead Rat What would you do if you saw a dead rat lying along the road? Of course, you'd cover your nose and walk past briskly because it stinks. But during the Cold War, dead rats were war weapons. As crafty as the CIA were, they didn't easily throw away dead rats. They saved them up and guess what they did with them? Whenever they had a piece of information or secret to pass to their members, They'd cut up the belly of the dead rat, remove the things inside, clean it, and insert the information. 
Once done, they dropped the dead rats at strategic locations where other members of their agencies could easily see and pick them up. Sometimes they even put transmitters inside the belly of the dead rat so it could capture any information passed by their opponents as they walked past along the road. Spy Shoe with Heel Transmitter Imagine a world where everyone wore a shoe that could transmit everything someone says. Then you, as the shoe inventor, will hear everything being said from anywhere. Such a great invention. The KGB used the spy shoe with a heel transmitter during the Cold War to help them spy on targets and know when to attack. To make the shoes work, someone who had access to the target person had to be around so that when the person wore the shoe, he would pull out a white pin from the heel of the shoe to activate it. It had to be done by an insider, so the maids or valet usually carried out the act. Once the target wears the shoe, he becomes a walking radio station, transmitting all the top-secret conversations to the person in charge of the monitoring post. Bulgarian Umbrella The Bulgarian Umbrella, also known as the Poisoned Umbrella, is a supposed tool used by the KGB to carry out assassinations during the Cold War. According to legend, the Umbrella was equipped with a mechanism to inject a toxic dart into the victim killing them almost instantly. This deadly umbrella had a hidden pneumatic device that can inject a small dart containing ricin, a poison found naturally in castor beans into its targets. On September 7, 1978, a Bulgarian journalist named Grigory Markov was stabbed in the leg with the tip of an umbrella. He died four days later in a hospital bed. However, there is little credible evidence to support the existence of such an umbrella, and the story is widely considered a Cold War-era urban legend. Even though the KGB has been linked to numerous assassinations and other covert operations, there is no definitive proof that they used a poisoned umbrella. Disappearing Ink Before the security agency of the Soviet Union discovered the disappearing ink, the concealed ink method they used was wet writing. An agent would write with ink on paper, steam it, and allow it for a few seconds to dry. Then he would rest the paper to remove any indentations and allow it to dry again. Once dry, he would write on the paper again to cover the original message. This was stressful, and it took a lot of time and effort to get information passed across. Luckily, in 1950, the KGB developed a better and faster method of writing, the disappearing ink pens. This type of ink was formulated to become invisible after a certain time or when exposed to heat or a specific chemical, making it ideal for secret messages. The exact composition of the KGB's disappearing ink is unknown, but it is believed to have been made from a mixture of chemicals that cause the ink to break down or change color over time. It was often used with special pens or ultraviolet lights to read the messages. Though the operation pattern of meeting with spies or collecting intelligence is still happening, the collection mode may change.